Hi guys, welcome to InfoGist TV. Basically, today I'll be treating you with some stories about Yahoo Boys and the effort of the Nigerian government in curbing it, as well as religious organizations. And that late uh, of recent, that of the, the pastor of uh, Salvation Ministries who laid some courses on Yahoo Boys, some police officers who take money from them and release them, and also girls who hook up with them. Uh, the EFCC had this to see basically about Yahoo. He said what, they said one of the major issues confronting Nigeria as a country currently is fraud, basically uh, uh, internet fraud, which some of the youths from Nigeria have taken as serious business. And uh, these youths, most times, some of them prefer these criminal activities to any legitimate job. The FCC said no day passes by without the news of Yao Yao boys being uh, arrested by them. And currently, uh, making the rounds on the social media, some young boys suspected to be Yao boys also have been arrested in Imo State. <clears throat> in a hotel where they caught them with live snakes hidden in their bag. <laughs> what are they even using live snakes to, uh, uh, to do in their bag? However, also a few weeks ago, there was a video that was trending online where Yahoo boys killed some girls for money ritual. Now, to stop the criminal activity by these Yahoo boys, the Nigerian government had to set up EFCC, yes, the um, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, to fight this crime. But the question is, are they really trying? Are they really doing their work? It is also recorded that some months ago, recorded that uh, something um, happened whereby the uh, EFCCs had to be invading and breaking into hotel rooms in order to arrest Yahoo boys. It became so rampant then. Then, yes, yes. Now, a suspected Yahoo boy identified us as Osas has allegedly killed his girlfriend, known as Eloha, on Yerusa for money ritual purposes. Hmm. The report has it that the suspect took his heel, or took to his heels rather after committing the crime, and the Edo State Police Command Public Relations Officer by name Kotongo Kotongs Bello, why com, why he confirmed the incident said that the father of the disease William Onyerusa was the one who reported the case to the police, adding that also investigation is ongoing by the police. <clears throat> investigation is ongoing. The guy has run away. The Yahoo guy is on his heels. Also, 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 in another separate video, which was shared by um, Abia Fats newspaper, they had to show a Yahoo boy simply was identified by the name Sources. He was identified by that name. And uh, he was being interrogated in that particular video by a motorist who saw him roaming the streets of Abia State. And uh, during the interrogation, Sources revealed, being the Yahoo boy, revealed that he is a student of Himo State University, Imsu, and he is due to graduate by next year. But unfortunately, he ran mad because he refused to sacrifice his mother for money rituals. He ran mad basically because he refused to sacrifice his mother for money rituals. Oh my God. <laughs> Sources advise his fellow youths to stop getting involved in Yahoo illegal activities in order to make quick money because the end won't be funny. After enjoying every luxury life has to offer with the money, after driving bands, chilling with the big boys, uh, driving all around town, he said <laughs> currently he's also paying his own price for such kind of enjoyment. <laughs> The suspected Yahoo boy also said that he was beaten up by some people while he was looking for food. <laughs> this is someone that was chilling. They were uh, playing Dorime on the, uh, in clubs or him when they are bringing. <laughs> what else would never end? Currently, success is eating watermelon on the streets of uh, um, Aria State. He's eating watermelon to eat uh, his war for him now. And uh, remember, guys, I dropped a click.
a clip uh, some days ago on the, the channel on, on InfoGIS TV where Pastor David Ibiomia laid calls, like I said earlier, on Yahoo Boys. And uh, uh, the news making rounds in Port Harcourt was that at the instance of uh, Pastor Ibiomia laying calls on the, those Yahoo Boys and the uh, policemen who take bribes from them and girls who cop with them, uh, the G's trending in Portaco stated that um, so many of the Yahoo boys who were in that particular uh, church event, Glory Rain, picked up their Bibles, their watches and everything and left the church. A whole lot of them left the church in truth as if this wasn't enough. A, a video is currently making a rant on the internet that some of the first stars are like Yahoo boys who has made up their minds to continue in the business of scamming people for a living, even after listening to Pastor David Ibiomi of Salvation Ministry, have come up with their defense. I've come up in their defense. <laughs> uh, Pastor David Ibiomi also asked them to repent and stop the practice of scamming people and give their lives to Christ, adding that if they fail to change their ways, God will have to punish them by himself. Because he noticed that some Nigerian policemen are now making friends with them just so they can get money from them. <laughs> I hear what Pastor David Ibiomere has to say. He said, let me tell all these Yahoo boys, stop. You can't be defrauding people every day when you... When you Yahoo somebody, it's stealing. Quote it anyhow, it's stealing. Most people, or most people, all their retirement benefits, you take it at once. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Stop. If you are in this church, it is a demonic, demon. It is a demonic, satanic way of getting money. <laughs> you scam people to buy a car. You will have an accident with that car. Policemen, if you take bribe from Yahoo boys, that money will kill you. Yes, that money will kill you. This will sweet me. Arrest them. Jade them when you find them. According to Gossip Mew TV, the pastor had probably taken it all out on these trusters after noticing the level at which their fraudulent ads are being praised by the public, apart from warning his own church members. He also extended this warning to first starts around the world. <laughs> this course laid by Pastor David Ibiome in that glory ring um, uh, fellowship or event that uh, occurred last week did not all go well with some suspected Yahoo boys, as they had immediately taken to TikTok to counter Pastor David Ibiomere's claim and vow to continue in the business of scamming people. <laughs> According to the news from Linda Ikeji's blog, <laughs> hey, the internet first has, <clears throat> excuse me, stated that Pastor David Ibiomere had already made money. He has already made a whole lot of money as a pastor. <laughs> so it's their own turn to make theirs. Besides, it's what put foods on their table. Adding that he, Pastor Ibiomi, could preach about the fraud business and lay courses on them whenever he feels like, but they would not change. Oh, they would not change. They are still in the business. And a whole lot is going on. A whole lot is going on. Let us see in the coming days whether the prophecies and the courses laid on them is going to work. This is Nigeria. You know, anything goes. So let us calm down patiently. Be calming down. Be calming down. <laughs> be calming that as we will be seeing results as time goes on. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to InfoGist TV. Thank you.